How do? Villa Touch here, and today I'm looking at three things I found in a loft. I found loads of stuff in the loft yesterday, uh, but I'm going to look at these three today. Uh, first one, I'll show you, uh, quick glimpse, is my Death's Head comics from the late 80s Marvel. Death's Head was my favourite comic book character, and, and quite frankly, he's still brilliant now. Uh, I shall look at those today. Next one is the Red Dwarf magazine. From 1992, uh, it became Smagazine in it for issue two. Drawings are a bit ropey uh, from Rushby. Uh, Rimmer looks a bit odd. But what I'm going to look at here is Let's Compute. Uh, it's a program magazine. I like my program magazines, and this came out in what's the date? Uh, oh, there you go. September 1990. That is September 1990. Sweet Pete. Uh, that came late to the market, especially when it's programming for the Spectrum. Uh, and the Amstrad. So, this came out a bit late. Uh, for programming. Uh, it came late to the party here, people. Uh, so, this is Let's Compute, a program magazine. And as you can see from the off, you can see what market it's aimed at. It's aimed at a happy market with lots of colourful cartoon characters. But look at this page straight away over here. Hostages. Shoot bastards. Uh, and it was made by Infogrames. I despise those like that name because I always pronounced it as Infogames. Uh, look at that. Looks very saboteur there though, doesn't it? Not that one. The Archimedes doesn't look saboteur. But the BBC Micro Electron does. Clive Townsend, go and find him. Go back in time. So this is a programming magazine. I don't think you're right further than issue two, to be honest with you. This is the letters page. Notice board. There's our guy who answers all the questions. Martin McFly wannabe. Uh, so issue two. Let's see. Benjamin Garton. Let's compute today. It's brilliant. Leslie Underwood. Aged 11. Same age as Benjamin Garton. Let's compute. It's absolutely brilliant. Fab, mega, cool and trendy. Mm. Uh, I love computer critters. They're really sweet. Says Henry Woodley. Age 13. Soon to be beaten up outside school. Uh, let's have a look. More letters. I bought Let's Compute, not realising it was not for the Sinclair Spectrum. I found it very interesting, but was disappointing. <gasps> We've been swamped by requests to make Let's Compute programs work for different micros. Well, yeah, I bet you were swamped. More letters. Oh, it's 12 and 13. I like these two, though. One, one issue in and two people the same age, so it's absolutely brilliant. Were those letters made up? I think they were. Oh, I missed a page. Nope. First program. Computer kitchen. It teaches how to make gingerbread. So the program here is over here. And it is for these people. It tells you the program works as shown. So it's for the BBC. Uh, Commodore 64 owners enter the program in capitals. Spectrum owners change go sub to go sub, so I miss out the space, but you'll already know that. That program. And that program would tell you how to make the perfect gingerbread because it would give you the exact measurements depending on how many gingerbread you wanted. Advert for Mana Cook Supplies. Search for Britain's top alphabet artist. Can you make those? And win a hundred pounds for your school. Next up is the program doctor, which then goes, which shows you how to make a program simpler through the different stages. Rather neat idea. At the bottom, changes what depend on the system, and then we've got another cartoon. Let's explain programming for the BBC Basic with rolling around. Smart idea. But 
bound to get you battered. Tech gadgets with soldering. Again, this is all appearing in like a uh, Magpie magazine now. But these colours behind it are enough to bring on a bloody migraine. More adverts. Uh, some drawing competition. That must have been in issue one, which I've not can't seem to find. So drawing a tortoise. It's like Boba Fett's face. Football. I hate football, as everybody knows, if you've ever seen any of my videos. How to make a football game. <laughs> Why would I want to make a football game? Programs for the Commodore 64 and Spectrum are overleaf. Hey, they're not lying. But look, black text on purple. I'm trying to give kids bloody bad eyesight. Look at that. That's awful. Pen down, low down. Two of our team of junior reviewers are trying out a new version of a popular word processor. Oh, sweet Christ. I bet they were thankful for that. Yeah, thanks. With Space Invaders by Jeff Minter. Thanks for the word processor. Computer Shop and that show 1990. In all honesty, I bet that was brilliant to go to. Look, here's the computer critters that that, that, that lad wanted age 13 before. Stick a great big fluffy bastard on top of your monitor and keyboard. Guaranteed to warm up and catch fire straight away. Look at that. Who then sweet Pete would want one of those on the computer? Save ten pound. How much is fifteen quid each? Fifteen pound each. Strap to your bloody computer. How a computer works. You should get those in those Osborne books. But drawn better. More. Some cartoons, because this magazine has not seen enough cartoons. Sort out your electrical connections of the sparkling program made by a safe scientist. So it seems to be a program on how to work out fuses. Marvelous. And the electric stuff. <laughs> now I seem to remember making these. How to make circles. I seem to remember doing stuff like this because it interested me. <laughs> oh, there's some ST programming, an Amiga program in there. There's the Spectrum one. Join our club today. Look at him. Promptly battered as soon as he stepped outside. Battered by his own inner pride. All this could be yours. Does not come with dignity. Oh, be a top turtle designer. What have I cut out there? Your own logo disc or tape for one pound. Oh, I wonder if sense have been off. Logo loan down. What the hell? How many cartoons? They're in the in magazine artist. Must have been working overtime here. More cartoons. BBC Acorn Users Show 1990. Games Magic. Write a magic game. Look at that. Orange on light blue. That's awful. That is dire. And it's part of a program too. So, he started this program last issue and you're building up to that and there was a mistake in last issue as well. What a nasty sod. More cartoons. Seems to be a Star Trek ripoff. Win three hundred pound prizes, pounds worth of prizes in Sabutio. Adverts. Back to the future. What's this? Want to know which day of the week a certain date falls on? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Ever. 
Perhaps when I'm getting paid, yeah, but not when I was bloody nine. Hang on, 1990. Not when I was 15. Next month, build a gadget that lets you play a game, game with a sauce bottle. What? Jesus. I bet from Amiga. Clax? I didn't Steve Benway do a, a Clax advert the other day? Uh, not a Clax advert. A Clax played badly. He did. I remember. I watched it. <laughs> so that was Let's Compute. An absolute dire magazine. Not as bad as input, but 1990. Turned up late to the party. Never mind. TCFN everybody, ta-ta for now and cheerio. Bye bye.